So what does cosec look like? We know what sine looks like, okay? So let's first sketch sine. So I'm just going to look at um, sine between 0 and 2 pi. Okay, so sine looks like this. Zero, this maximum point is one, the minimum point is minus one. Okay, and so this would be sine x. Now, cosec x is one over sine. So if we look at particular points, like this point here, this point is pi over two. OK, so let's put that in, pi over 2. And at this point, sine of pi over 2 is 1. So 1 over 1 would be 1. OK, so I know that cosec of pi over 2 must be 1 and must go through that point. In a similar way, when uh, x is 3 pi over 2, Uh, sine is minus 1, and so cosec of 3 pi over 2 must be 1 over minus 1, which is minus 1, and so cosec must also go through that point. Now, the more interesting points are at 0 pi and 2 pi, because at those points, sine is 0. Sine of 0 is 0, sine of pi is 0, sine of 2 pi is 0, because that's where the curve is crossing the x-axis. And so you get 1 over 0 at those points. And so we have an asymptote at 0, pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, 5 pi, and so on and so forth. So in order for the curve to tend towards those asymptotes, the curve must look something like this. And so cosec x is split up into these sections where the curve is kind of like a U shape, then a downwards U shape, then an up U shape, and then down and so on and so forth. So this is what cosec looks like.